Welcome back. I'm standing on the deck of what just might be the most amazing custom yacht ever built. How do I know that? The captain told me. His name is King Williams, and the boat he captains. Her name is Channel Cat. So I gotta ask, is your name really King Williams? Yes, it is. I'm King Williams, King Louis Williams III. <laughs> but uh, my son's name is Todd. Captain King Williams and his wife Rachel built the ultimate husband and wife project when they put together the Channel Cat, a beauty that has a first officer who also happens to be King's nephew. I've seen big ships before, but this one is definitely unique. You know, there's not another, another ship like it. Part of that is due to the fact that the Cat is a catamaran, or a twin-hulled boat. And there's a reason the catamaran class was chosen. There's a lot of reasons. Uh, you get a lot more room out of a catamaran versus a traditional monohull. Uh, they're also a lot faster, um, more stable, which is good because a lot of the passengers that come out, they aren't, uh, they're, they're more land lovers, you know, they're not used to uh, voyages at sea. So uh, yeah, it's very stable. We get very few incidents of people getting motion sickness. Um, yeah, and I just shallow draft is another effect. Not that we ever really go into shallow water, but it is nice only having, you know, four and a half feet of, uh, of draft underneath this. In fact, you can actually beach this boat if you really needed to. I have a hard time driving 107 tons up on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> now that brings up a good point. That, that's, that's a lot of weight to move through the water. So yeah. what's powering this? Two 350 Cummings diesels, and that, that pushes it at about 15 knots. That's about 20 miles per hour, a good pace while you're having a five-course meal. The serious cash behind this cat came from owner Charlie Munger, a man solidly entrenched in the upper tiers of the Forbes 400 list of America's richest people. King Williams and Munger designed the exterior, making it the largest fabricated fiberglass catamaran in the world. The length is 85 feet long by 41 feet wide. She's uh, 107 feet to the top of that mast up there, and she's 35 feet to the top of this, this roof right here. The unique shape of the hull has been adopted by the U.S. Navy for use on their own power cats. Inside, 10 and a half foot cathedral ceilings and the 10 floor to ceiling windows make the main salon both roomy and well lit, with each one of the large windows etched with a different species of California sea life. The predominant wood on the cat is bird's eye maple. This wood is absolutely beautiful. Thank why, you. Why this wood? Uh, bird's eye maple, it's really a light wood and we wanted the, the, the boat to look really big and uh, you know, if it was teak or something with a dark wood, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look nearly as big and grand as it does. Bird's eye maple is also used in the world's finest guitars and violins. Imported from Africa, it was the right choice here because the Channel Cat is most definitely grand. And it needs to be because she can sail 150 people. In the pilot house sit three stid chairs imported from Germany. The galley features full-size professional Lang commercial ovens. And it's a roomy kitchen, considering it's housed inside one of the pontoons. In the other pontoon, the library. Cliff Alberton is one lucky fellow. He's the guy who gets to live on this work of seagoing art full-time. And full-time is the phrase of the day, because this kind of life is full-time. But when you live here, it's hard to see where the work ends and the fun begins. Yeah, the boat life is great. I, I highly recommend it. You know, it's 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 very adventurous. You know, no no two days are the same. So uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And don't forget that there are perks to being an officer. Chicks dig a, a man in uniform. <laughs> now the uniforms make me feel right at home. I don't know if you knew, but I was an F-18 pilot for many years. Well, that's what I understand. <laughs> and so I know a little bit about handling multi-million dollar equipment, but that's tell right. me about the responsibility involved in, in being at the helm of this. Well, it's the same thing as a, a, a cruise ship because uh, we have to account for every person on board the ship. Uh, there's a lot of responsibility. And so there's a lot of things that also go wrong. I mean, so I imagine you know this ship like the back of your hand. I, I do know this ship like the back of my hand. Most of that familiarity stems from the fact that King was with this boat every day that it was being built. And it's not a modified production vessel. It is absolutely built from scratch. And no fancy computers were used to design it. The blueprint was on a napkin. It took three years. Three years, and, yeah. how, and, and how many people do you think did it take to build? We, we 
had 47 full-time employees. Wow. They worked five days a week, um, sometimes 10 hours a day. I worked seven days a week. You were overseeing the whole project. 24 hours a day. Wow. <laughs> so there's a lot of love in this boat. There right? is a lot of love in this boat. <laughs> it took a lot of love to build the Channel Cat. King and his family love operating it. And all that love reaches beyond yachting. Now, one of the amazing things I've heard about this boat is how much charity you are a part of. Yeah, that's right. Charlie Munger wanted us to do approximately 50% of our charters uh, for charity. Uh, for instance, we do a lot of uh, charitable things for kids at risk and uh, the YMCA and uh, the Maritime Museum. Just last week, we did a charter for uh, Katrina, a fundraiser for Katrina, and we raised a lot of money. So not only are you introducing people to the world of yachting, but you're doing it for a good cause. That's right. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. Well, that's it for me. I'm Hunter Ellis. Thanks for watching Extreme Yachts. What do you say we head out to sea? Let's go. All right. <laughs>